I'm joined by Ed Chamberlain, fresh from the ITV podium on a what's been a marvellous day, Ed, on the day three of the Welcome to Yorkshire Ebor Festival. Um, just sum up your emotions, having seen Stradivarius first of all, and then Winter Power in the Dunthorpe. I mean, I, 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 it's not even four o'clock. I came off air at three fifty-seven. I can't stop smiling. I mean, it was just unbelievable. I was saying to the team all week, Friday's the day. I came on here yesterday with Dom and said, you know, Snowfall was great and everything, but it's all about Friday. It's going to be special. I had no idea it would be this special. I mean, how lucky were we to be here to see Stradivarius do that? And then for Yorkshire, at York, to win the Nunthorpe, I mean, it makes you smile now. Just brilliant. It's incredible. Absolutely brilliant. I love the way this sport can write scripts like that. We'll tackle the Nunthorpe first because that, okay. that was some performance, wasn't it? Golden Pal set the early fractions, but Sylvester D'Souza sitting in second on Winter Power, he always seemed to have him covered on the field, he didn't see, and she was going so well. Yeah, absolutely. But then you're thinking, can she carry on? And my word, she was brave. Because they got up, our tracker goes alongside them, and they got up to 45 miles an hour. When you go home this evening, go at 45 miles an hour. If you're not driving, passion seat, put your head out the window and feel how <laughs> fast that feels. They were scorching the York turf. Golden Powell blew out. She kept going. I thought Swayser was on the wrong side and a little bit unlucky. Don't give up on Swayser after that performance. But I'm just thrilled for everyone here because the Easterbees, they were about eight dynasties <laughs> in the winner's enclosure. Mick was there. Peter might have been there. Tim, obviously the winner. Uh, the kids, Thomas, William, Emily were all there. How special for them to win one of the signature races in this part of the world. And you're just thinking this day just keeps on giving. Fantastic. Delight for Tim Easterby. Earlier on, it was the Weatherby's Hamilton Lonsdale oh. Cup. And you, you saw Trushan come out and you think, well, it might be a little bit of a damp script now, just four runners. But it was anything but a tremendous spectacle. Race it's, of the week? Without a shadow of a doubt, for the heartstrings. It was unbelievable. I haven't heard a roar like that, not just at a race course, at a sporting stadium. I've been to lots of cricket and football recently. I haven't heard a roar like that for a very, very long time. Yes, four runners. I'm normally moaning, aren't I, on Sporting Life about small fields. But when Strad's involved, it doesn't matter because he's a horse that resonates to the ITV audience. Huge ITV audiences this week. And they know Stradivarius, so it didn't really matter. And Frankie Patch and all that. But it, my first words after the race was, forget Frankie. This isn't about Frankie. This is about a heroic racehorse. Absolutely. And listen, he might not be the force of old. I'm sure he's not. But that was brave. And Frankie was brilliant in the saddle, you know. It'll be interesting to see William Buick and him chatting after what happened. That was a proper head-to-head. -head. Bruff Scott, what sums up that race, Scoop? Bruff Scott, who's been racing for about 180 years, had a tear in his eye. <laughs> he had a tear in his eye, and yeah. he's seen everything in the sport. That's what Stradivarius and horses do to you. And the roar he got as he crossed the line. When I spoke to Frankie afterwards, who was buzzing, as you can imagine. He said he was like a 100-meter runner. You know, when they headbutt the line like that. <laughs> it's like Stradivarius knew where the line was to beat Spanish Mission. It was just magic. And William Darby and York should be so proud of putting on that show. And the roar he got when the photograph was then announced. Then the roar he got when he did his lap of honor. Yeah. Magic, magic moments. Brilliant from Stradivarius. 16. Did you enjoy it? Oh, I loved it. I absolutely loved it. I thought Spanish Mission had it. And then Stradivarius stuck Frankie his neck out. Too. Yeah, yeah, on the line. And 16 group wins. I mean, how many more can he win? He's, he's seven now. And we, we thought he was past his best, is he? I'm not sure. I mean, he could, he could get one or two more. Well, Bjorn Nielsen said to us afterwards, he'll keep going as long as he wants to keep going. How nice is that to hear? Bjorn Nielsen, full credit to him. John Gosden, to train a character like that. I was worried beforehand because he was subdued again. He's normally so culty and revved up. Yeah, yeah. So many years we've seen him again. He was a bit subdued like he was at Royal Ascot. And I was worried. But no, didn't need to worry at all. They all deserve enormous credit for that. And they're going to carry on because he's still up for it, isn't he? Absolutely. That was the race of the week, I think, Ed. But while we've got you, uh, day three of the... We're 75% of the way through. <laughs> I'm absolutely shattered. I bet you are. <laughs> Emotionally drained Let's after all Let's just sign off with... Um, <laughs> The performance of the week. What's who's the best horse you've seen? So, uh, at York okay, this week? okay, okay. Um, so not the heartstrings like we were. Not the about heartstrings. Snowfall the heartstrings. Snowfall was good. I was a bit downbeat on Snowfall, getting eight, nine pounds and beating Alba Flora four lengths. She probably did it very easily. They were all delighted with her. Nice performance. Good performance. I don't think we learned too much about Snowfall. We know she's very good. Mishrif, that was a monster performance, wasn't it? Yeah. He's done it round the globe, and they they would have wanted that Group One domestically here on his CV and he got it and a memory I'll take away from it because he's a really good lad is David Egan standing up in the irons Ollie told him he's got his lottery ticket with this horse with the prize <laughs> money he's won but what a performance from the horse I mean that was the performance that had the real wow factor as he just went further and further clear Jason Weaver said he'd gone too early I disagree with him completely I thought it was a brilliant <laughs> performance he pressed the button at the right time and you want wow performances in big races for our big audience and we got it there so Mishrif gets my 
performance of the week. Mishrif, the star of the week for Ed, Winter Power and Stradivarius, the definite stars on day three at York.